Hello all, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Hey everyone, so if you're new in this channel, so this is my channel Tech with Pri where I post tech videos. So right now we are going on Windows Server 2016 uh, tutorial and you can find all the videos here. And uh, also very soon we are uh, coming with Microsoft Azure okay the cloud service provider so make sure you subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever i post a new video all right and also i introduced harry uh, a few months back where we try to you know uh, represent the tech things in a funny way so if you are interested you can go ahead and follow the uh, instagram account all right all right so this is the continuation of the last video where we have learned about the group policy object or the gpo and also we have understood the concept of organizational unit that is ou and we have created ou and applied group policy object and we have seen how it works right so guys if you missed the last video uh, make sure you watch it because that was very interesting and also in that video the introduction of group policy was done so the link of the video would be there in the description and also you can find the link right now here in your screen so we have seen uh, like in our organization where we work so we have the you know company's logo in the desktop background right so uh, like whichever company you are working so that's logo or some message there will be there in your desktop background and it would be there for every system that you use in the company so this is done by with the help of the group policy itself so in today's video we'll experience the same thing with the help of the group policy and we'll create it for our own domain that is techwithpre.com sounds good the today's video would be very interesting it would be a short video and make sure you watch the full video so right now we have a server and we have a client machine right and the client machine is let me show you this is the client machine and uh, i am now logged in as harry so let's quickly log in and let me show you what's the change that is going to you are going to see so as you can see this is the desktop wallpaper fine now from the server end we will apply the group policy and we'll decide which picture is going to be there on each and every machine and also each and every users so right now i'm logging to harry now if i log into scene also they are going to see the same wallpaper right so let's quickly get into it so i have my server machine open here let's log in it okay so i have logged in successfully in our server machine that is the tech with pre and uh, now i am in the server manager tab so as you already know uh, from the last video how to open the group policy management tool so i will just go to the group policy management tool that is this one group policy management so in my last video you have already seen how group policy we can create group policy so I'm not going to go in deep on that. And uh, if you want to clear that concept, you can always watch my previous video and the link again in the description, you can find it. All right. So I'm here in my uh, uh, group policy management tool. And uh, as you can see, if I just go to the office OU, that is we have created in our last video. And here we already have a GP or group policy object that is placed. Uh, that is a turn of CP that I have uh, created so as we have already seen like when users try to access control panel they get error like they do not have the access okay so that we have set it up now as we have understood in the previous video group policy object can be applied in the domain also in site and also in organizational unit or OU the today's group policy that we are going to enable it would be in a domain level that is techwithpre.com so whatever machines and whatever OU it will there will be in under the under this domain the group policy will be applied on each and everything now by clicking the domain i'm gonna choose right click and create a gpu in this domain i'm gonna choose that i'm gonna name it as a desktop background now we have created the uh, desktop background this is our gpu let's right click on it and choose edit and from here uh, let's maximize it i'll go to the user configuration policies administrative template and from here i'm gonna go to desktop it's pretty simple again desktop 
and here you can see desktop wallpaper so this is the group policy that we need to do now before doing that we have to do another thing first we have to choose a picture and we have to create a folder that should be able to shared so that we can apply here in the wallpaper name so this is the group policy and in the wallpaper name we have to put the path as you can see either i can put the local path or either we can put the unc path that is the server path okay but for that we have to create a share and we already know how to create a shared folder right so guys again the video of creating shared folder home folder all it's uploaded already in my channel you can go and check it out okay so now in our c drive i have created a folder called image and under that we have a picture and that is the logo of my uh, you know so the logo of my company that is take with pre so i'm going to close it and i want this picture should be uh, visible to each and every machine that is part of take with pre and whoever the user is log trying to log and the users that are also part of the our sales department and account department that we have already created in our ad video so they should be able to uh, see the same wallpaper also so now let's make the folder shareable so i'm going to click on the folder and going to right click and choose properties go to the sharing tab then choose advanced sharing share this folder permissions you can see it's for everyone so let's click on okay let's apply let's okay and let's close this and make sure you copy the path the network path that we have to put in our gpo page and also let's copy it first and also our image name that is background and i can see it's a png file so it would be background.png the extension name so now i'll go to the our group policy management portal and here first i will enable this policy and here i will paste the network path backslash again and then we will want to write the name of the picture background dot jp sorry it should be png yeah background dot png and i want the picture uh, should be in a center place so you can choose different options so i'm going to click on apply to apply the group policy and click on ok now it has been applied successfully now to test it i'll go to the client machine and uh, let's log in as harry as you can see the wallpaper hasn't changed yet because we know what we need to do that is the gp update so that it can sync with the server quickly so gp update slash force enter see it would take hardly one minute less than one minute even let's quickly sign out and let's see if we have our new wallpaper let's see so here we go and uh, you can see the picture is not that good uh, as because the picture I have downloaded from the internet itself so but our purpose has been successful so we wanted to have the same desktop wallpaper for all the system and for all the users also so that has been done and you can understand by applying group policy object we can do it very easily right so let's i'm gonna uh, log out from harry's account and i try to log in with scene so that i can show you uh, with the scenes account also you'll be able to able to see the same wallpaper so let's choose other users let's choose scene as you can see so i've logged in now as scene and scene also can see the same wallpaper so guys that was our purpose today to have the same wallpaper in every machines in our domain by using the group policy object and we have done it successfully I hope you enjoyed the video guys if you like the video hit the like button if you have any question come to the comment section and please share this video with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people 
so in the next video that would be very interesting um, by using the group policy and again guys there are a lot of group policies that are available so you can try it by your home and let me know which of the one you love it most okay so see you in my next video take care bye bye